Start game now. The Jack Morris rookie card is back because today we're going to do another sports game, a baseball game, and that is real sports baseball for the Atari 7800 with box art that is pretty much identical to the 2600 version, except now we can see grumpy dude's pants. Aren't you glad for the power of the 7800? Let's go ahead and take real sports baseball, pop it into our Atari 7800 and find out how it holds up today. Let's go to the game. Real Sports Baseball for the Atari 7800 was published by Atari and carries a copyright year of 1988. It is a baseball game for one or two players with only one mode of difficulty and only an option to decide which team goes to bat first. As with several other early sport games, there are only two teams, the Red Republicans and the Blue Democrats. Wow, it seems like a lot of politicians were spending more time playing games than doing government work back in the 80s. Maybe that's why some people liked the government better back then. You play one nine-inning game that may go into extra innings in the case of a tie. When batting, you select the type of swing using the joystick while holding down the left button. You can press up for a high swing, down for a low swing, left to bunt left, right to bunt right, and keep it center for a normal swing. You swing once you release the button with a small delay from when you let go of the button to when your player swings. I found this made swinging more difficult at fast pitches. If you have a player on base, you can make him advance by holding the right button and pressing up on the joystick or make him retreat by holding the right button and pressing down on the joystick. You can use this to try to steal, but I found this nearly impossible to do against a computer who was able to react very quickly. When pitching, you hold down the right button, not the left like batting, and once again you use the joystick to select your pitch including up for a fastball, up right for an outside slider, right for an outside curve, down right for an outside slow curve, down for a change up, down left for an inside slow curve, left for an inside curve, and up left for an inside slider. When the ball is hit, you automatically are given control of a fielder whose uniform slightly changes, but not enough to quickly attract my eye to him. You can try to catch the ball that has a moving shadow, but this can be very difficult to judge when you're trying to figure out where exactly it's going to land. Once you have the ball, you can either run with it or throw it to another player by pressing and releasing the left button. You can press the joystick up to aim for second, right for first, left for third, and down for home and keep it centered for the pitcher. The next batter won't come up until the pitcher has the ball and the right button is pressed. As you can see, you will constantly be switching which buttons you use based on the situation. Graphically speaking, the game is not very impressive. It takes place on a single screen that lacks details and has small players. Baseball on the Nintendo far outshines this game. The music and sound are okay, except for the windy sound used for the roar of the crowd, which was irritating in my opinion, but at least this is a family friendly game. On eBay, loose copies were selling for about 6 bucks, and new copies were going between 8 and $10, but often they didn't sell at all. So what did I think of real sports baseball? Well, I had a lot of problems with it. First, I found the controls very cumbersome. I wish they kept the buttons the same for batting and pitching, and I also would have liked it if I just pressed a button rather than having to release it for certain actions to be used. I also found the game to be too slow paced and it always seemed to take a long time for action in between batters and the computer to be brutally difficult. After playing for about a half an hour, I was being completely slaughtered by the computer and had to end my game early on account of the many no swears wanting to use the TV and after that I just had no desire to return to the game at all. Ironically, this game is almost the opposite of the 2600 version whereas that version was a bit easier to control and a whole lot easier to beat. Even though I didn't like either version of the game, I would much rather play the 2600 version of the game over the 7800 version. So where am I going to rank real sports baseball? Is it going to be the worst game ever? No, it's a little better than title match pro wrestling at 27 and touchdown football at 26 by a hair, but I did like hat trick a little bit more, but none of these games are real winners. So I'm going to make real sports baseball my new number 26 game. Real sports baseball, it strikes out and it doesn't even bother to try swinging. If you enjoy retro related videos, would you please click the like and subscribe buttons. You can also support me on Patreon as well. Also be sure to check out some of my many other videos covering Atari, Sega, Nintendo and more. There are now over 175 videos posted, so there's something for just about any retro fan. 
Thank you guys for giving me a little part of your day, and I look forward to seeing you next time on the next episode of The Nosewear Gamer. And it'll probably be a better one at that. Take care, everybody. I'll catch you later.